Hello and welcome to another micro channel, another management briefing. My name is Kerry Proctor. And we're going to run through today uh, some summary details on uh, Microsoft Dynamics 2018 licensing and dates and also Dynamics 365 Business Central. Uh, today's session will be short, but I'm trying to keep this as succinct as possible and give you the high level facts that you need to be aware of and certainly enable you to be uh, have enough information to um, investigate further so take this as a high level review and uh, i think all will go well so what we're going to cover off is buying a nav 2018 for new clients upgrading to nav 2018 for existing clients we're looking at upgrading to business central the on-prem version and also the version uh, managed by Microsoft. So essentially the Dynamics 365 Business Central is simply the continuation of a very fine history of uh, Dynamics NAV. Bit of a disclaimer here, um, the licensing and the model here is changing quite rapidly. Uh, please ask, but verify, uh, check this out. Uh, give uh, Microchannel a call, we're happy to help. Uh, if you'd like to know a bit more about Microchannel, uh, sorry, Micro Dynamics NAV versus Business Central, we have a, one of our videos on that. Please just uh, Google that and that'll give you a bit of background as well. So this is more on licensing and dates today. So the important thing to understand is if uh, you're new to the product, if you were going to purchase Dynamics NAV 2018, it's available and sales end 1st of April. Um, Odd way of saying it, sales end 1st of April, but uh, if I had a look at the uh, calendar, it really means that uh, you can probably order NAV up until around about the 28th of March 2019. And I'm saying the 28th of March to give some working time for orders to be processed and licenses to be issued. In a slight change, Microsoft have also published that uh, any existing clients, um, any upgrades to NAV 2018 cease the same date. So if you're looking to upgrade, uh, please talk to us pretty rapidly. Uh, we have a small window of opportunity to get you to that version of the software. If your annual enhancement or maintenance, uh, typically called BREP, uh, is up to date, you, you can move to Business Central on-prem. And Microsoft are offering very much a two for one offer. Now, I'm saying this at a high level because Microsoft over the years have had uh, MBL, which was uh, modular based pricing, uh, business ready pricing, uh, perpetual licenses, uh, and all of these were a concurrent user model. Business Central is named user, which is more in keeping with the, um, the whole uh, Microsoft uh, suite of software. So you will get this, but please check out the fine print around these and the availability. So you keep paying your annual enhancement or BREP, and you get two to one uh, as a high level. And uh, before you do so, worthwhile checking out if you've got any third party verticals and modifications and functionalities and check out the decremented features. So you've got visibility here. Microchannel uh, is well placed to help you with this. The third option uh, you have is move to Dynamics 365 Business Central. This is the version managed by Microsoft and Azure. You pay your subscription and you get circa 40% off the list price if your annual maintenance or BREP is up to date. In this version, Microsoft hosts uh, on Azure. They look after the infrastructure, the backups, etc. And you're not paying for SQL license or annual enhancement. So as a simple example, I've got 20 named essential users. Now, essential users in Business Central is all the uh, NAV functionality, uh, excluding manufacturing and service management. So it includes... Um, General Ledger, AP, uh, AR, Inventory, Jobs, Fixed Assets, etc. Uh, it's all in that uh, that license model. And that's around $1,160 per month plus GST in this part of the world. And that pricing is valid to June 30, 2021. It also has team member licenses that are coming at about $6.60 a month. So very, very effective um, and an interesting pricing. Uh, if you want to do your sums, um, think about what your annual maintenance costs are at the moment. Uh, what you're paying for SQL licenses, what you're paying for TIN or your servers, uh, what you're paying for uh, uh, maybe uh, DBA services and support. It's all covered in that pricing, so very effective. So there's your three options and there's your dates. As a refresher, NAV 2018 uh, includes Seaside and the Cal development environment uh, that many of you have been using NAV will be familiar with. Business Central on-prem includes Seaside and Cal, but also the new approach of extensions. Um, Business Central managed by Microsoft is extensions only using Visual Studio Code. So there's a few little options there that you can consider. So the key dates for you, uh, sales or upgrades to NAV 2018 end really in March. 
2019. Uh, NAV 2018 on Microsoft's life cycle support goes through to January 2028, so you've still got quite a few years there. If you move to Business Central, you've got no downgrade rights. Be aware of that. You can't move back to, to NAV. Uh, there's no dual rights either. You can't use both at the same time. Interesting, this license transition approach applies to NAV, but it also applies to Dynamics GP and Dynamics AX clients as well, if they wanted to take this direction. And an important one, just to be aware of, you cannot uh, change or uh, reduce your NAV license um, up to 36 months prior to transition to get this uh, transition pricing. So if you'd like to know more, please contact uh, Microchannel or your partner. Uh, we're happy to work through and uh, assist you on your journey here. Thank you very much.